Hi, Steve Hassan with the new blog on the Byte model and the Watchtower Society or the Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, in 1989, I think it was, Randy Waters, a former elder from Bethel, contacted me. He had read Combating Cult Mind Control and said, great book. How come you didn't mention the Watchtower? in it and I said why and he said because you wrote about us and I underlined the whole book and I said really and he said really and I said teach me and he said come on to LA and let's have a meeting and we'll tell you all about it and so I've been working with people who are ex-members of Jehovah's Witnesses helping people rescue people from the Watchtower Society ever since, and in the updated editions of Combating Cult Mind Control, the one with a single T in combating, um, we actually included a couple of stories of former members in the book itself. Um, a few weeks ago, ex-Mormon John Dolin, a psychologist who had been excommunicated from the Church of Latter-day Saints, or the Mormons, uh, contacted me to ask me to be on his podcast, and I suggested reading Combating Cult Mind Control, and he said it was a great book, it was transformative, and he did a blog taking the bite model and color coding the different aspects, saying whether or not it related to the Mormons today or how, and we thought it'd be a great idea to do that with uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses and the Watchtower. Also, because my research, the big survey that we ran a few weeks ago had over a thousand respondents and 700 were born or raised in the Watchtower and the Mormons, uh, we thought it would be a useful uh, exercise to flesh out the bite model and get more feedback from people from the Watchtower, uh, who've been involved with the Watchtower and current members of the Watchtower, hopefully. So we hope you enjoy this uh, blog, and please uh, feel free to uh, share it with your friends if you like it. And check out the new Combating Cult Mind Control. We'll be having a new audiobook in a few weeks. Thanks. Bye.